I'm not kidding you now. I'm, I, I'm asking earnestly because I have talked about that. But what is the damage that you perceive that I've done? Because okay, I mean, I'll I'm, talk to it with a the therapist. No, no, no. I'm going to have, no, 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 no. I'm no. not going to talk on the phone and argue. I'm when not I arguing. Know, I'm asking you. Want me I'm to being come. T- that conversation is on currently on X, Twitter. And you could see Hunter Biden there having a conversation. He seems to be at a rehab facility having a conversation on the phone with his, I guess you could call it his sister-in-law slash lover, um, the woman that he apparently took after he, his brother passed away, Bo Biden. Listening to Hunter Biden speak reminds me of every addict I've ever encountered. The scapegoating, the gaslighting, denial, refusal to take ownership, all too familiar addicts fail to recognize their need for accountability and they always blame others creating a vicious cycle of chaos and craziness and i wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy but being around somebody like this is mind-blowing because their thinking is so far from that of a responsible adult hunter biden is a person you could tell he constantly gets away with things because he's consistently enabled by his family of enablers. You got his dad, you've got his sister-in-law, his children, everyone upholds his nonsense. Right now, Hunter Biden's daughter, Naomi Biden, testified in his defense at his criminal gun trial, stating that he appeared to be responding well to drug treatment before purchasing a gun in 2018. Hunter Biden is charged with illegally obtaining the firearm by failing to disclose his drug addiction. Naomi Biden testified that she saw her father in good condition during that period. Now, mind you, I'll let you hear another piece of the tape where his sister-in-law is clearly telling him, you've fucked over us and you need to have some accountability. You've messed up your children's lives, my lives, and I'll let you hear that in a minute. But think about that. She's testifying on his behalf, in his defense. This is what they do. If you've ever been in a toxic family like this, you'll have family members that will stand up there and lie on behalf of their drug addict um, failure of a family member. This is a common theme. They always bail them out and help them out and try to give them, you know, the benefit of the doubt consistently over and over until the person usually ends up in two places. And I'm not going to say you guys know where those two places are that usually ends up for addicts. Naomi Biden then testified that she saw a father in good condition during that period, but prosecutors highlighted her difficulty reaching him and introduced evidence suggesting he was buying crack cocaine at the time. The trial, which also included testimonies from Hunter Biden's ex-wife, former girlfriend, and sister-in-law, will continue as the defense considers whether Hunter Biden will testify. Now, President Joe Biden has stated he will not pardon his son if convicted. I feel like Hunter is one of those people that he needs to reach, you know, hit rock bottom. I don't know if you guys can agree or disagree in the comments, but I've been around these people. They have to hit rock bottom. They don't need constant bailouts because it never ends. So let me let me play the piece of the tape where he talks about where she talks to him about how he is and he you got to listen to what he's saying here. It's so disgusting that he's like how how have I hurt my kids how have I like dude you are being told you are screw up get your shit together you're telling me right now right in this moment that what I should be focusing on is how much damage I've done to you and my children that's what's going to get me sober and my children and your children that the damage I've done I want you to talk about that with your therapist absolutely and if I come visit I would like to talk about that Okay. Yes. So what you're telling me is that would you... Lastly, pay attention to how the news media refers to Hunter Biden as Joe Biden's kid, Joe Biden's child. He's a grown freaking man. 